Now, one more thing you can do with Logo Diffusion is to start your logo design process from sketch. So to start with the sketch, we can go to this edit icon here and click on it. And this is gonna load up our image editor. Now inside of here, we can choose a brush size. So let's go for this size and let's make it black. And let's say I wanna make a logo of a horse head that's looking to the side. So I'm gonna do something really rough from here. All right, this is kind of like the head of the horse. Here's this eye. Maybe give it a couple ears here and a jawline. And that's pretty much it. We can just save. And then uh, in here, you can see the images load to kind of show us which uh, edge detection method we're going to use with it. So uh, for here, I want to go with shape blocks. For image influence, I'm gonna put it at three. I don't want it to follow it too much, but can I just get inspired by it? And creative freedom, I'm gonna put it at five because I want to give the AI total freedom, but it needs to follow the lines uh, roughly. And then when we go here, we can just write a logo of a horse head, and we can just go to styles and pick a style that we need for this uh, logo design. So for this one, I'm going to try a couple uh, styles. Let's start with mascot and uh, let's hit generate. And you can see we turned this uh, rough sketch into a usable logo. For example, this one, uh, if we don't like like this, there's like a mistake over here with a bump. We can just take it to the editor and uh, just do something with like a white brush uh, where we can uh, just remove uh, this part and hit run again and we can just get a cleaner version of it and you can just click save and hit generate again and you can see this pretty much cleaned up uh, the logo and gave us something uh, usable that we can just uh, take and convert into a vector or uh, improve on if we if we need to now another thing we can do is if we want to add more color to it there's this tick here that says use image colors we can just set it to no and now we're gonna get results that are not just uh, black and white uh, let's pick the style here mascot and generate again and you can see we got uh, these results that look like that look like a mascot and uh, we can just turn them into vectors or use them in our uh, project uh, we can do the same with different styles here so let's say I want something kind of cartoony and uh, let's hit generate. And you can see the different styles we were able to get with this. Um, just from a simple sketch, we were able to make it more intricate. And then we created a mascot and a cartoony version of it. We can also experiment with other styles. We'll be adding more styles uh, to the content style uh, list here. And this is how you use uh, the editing tool and sketching in Logo Diffusion.